In 2003, the North Carolina State Board of Education named him its first African-American chairman. And then in 2009, Governor Beverly Perdue appointed him executive director of the North Carolina Education Cabinet. Mm -hmm. He was awarded the North Carolina Award, which is the state's highest honor. And this was in 2014. Lee has an autobiography that's called The Courage to Lead, One Mm -hmm. Man's Journey in Public Service. And it tells the story of his rise from a Georgia sharecropper form to make American political history, succeeding in the face of blatant racism. He enrolled at Clark College. What I love about this is just the story of second chances and mm-hmm. keep going because he admits that he flunked out of there. Mm-hmm. But then he um, went to Fort Valley State where three years later he graduated. He was then drafted after college into the U.S. Army and then he went on to earn a master's degree in social work from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Go Hills. Go Hills. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also taught uh, at Duke University and at North Carolina A&T. After retirement from the government, Lee founded the Howard N. Lee Institute to provide tools and resources to ensure that high-risk middle and high school students have equitable access to high-quality education and are prepared to succeed in college, career, and in life. And a big focus was his STEM Scholars Prep Academy. So today we highlight him on today, and we're excited to do that. Why? Because he is also, Howard Nathaniel Lee is also a recipient of what? What are we getting ready so to do? The champions. So the champions. We're getting ready to do that uh, in less than a week. But let me just say something quickly about about this, my guy right this, this guy. If you ever want to just understand what life is all about mm-hmm. and, and, <clears> the, and the epitome of what, what you should do, things you, just spend some time with him. Very humble man. Very humble. He's remarkable. Uh, you, I'm always moved by him when I, when I talk to him about anything. Very knowledgeable. Even now. I mean, he's just an unbelievable guy and uh, just a great citizen of this country. And uh, I'm just so happy to know, know him. Right, yes. right. That's 